Hey, welcome to another video. This is part three. And this video, I made the app look more uh, appealing, more, dif more differently in a way that you can actually use it. It's still basic, but it'll get you started on your own project. So on the left, what I've done is just enter, uh, I have a form here uh, that can take your title, the body, the vendor, the product type and tags, and then create the product. So that's a to do uh, on the next video. But so far, this is the layout that I have. And I do have this section working, which is just the, uh, on the previous video. This gets your products. And when you click it, um, I'm using jQuery. So there's nothing fancy or going on in the back. So as you can see, this is the product ID for this one title the body the vendor you can add more obviously but these are the basics of getting products and displaying on your on the user interface on the back end or the <clears throat> the uh, on my page what i've done is on my javascript i have now this new function that will add rows basically to your table so as you can see here and first i'm removing the rows and then for each what I'm doing is just creating the, the row and adding it to the table, which is so it's over here. Well, this section is the uh, where you create the products and is the same button. I'm using the same thing. Only thing I did is what added a car, some CSS from Bootstrap for pretty much basic. And then here's the list, uh, the table, the, the products. So as you can see here, here's the same button that we have in the previous video. It's the same thing. I just moved it over here. And I have a car again. Some border borders on the car. That's why you see the, the blue line across the border. That's from Bootstrap. And that's all I have. So hopefully this video will get you more interested in uh, making Shopify apps. Uh, so far, that's what I got. And on the next video, we're gonna gonna show you how I made this work. The left side, how you can add uh, multiple. This is just a few, but you can add more, obviously, and then create your products. So the code will be in GitHub. And if you have any questions, make sure you submit your question on Facebook or on Twitter. Okay. Thank you for watching.